Dan. That's what I mean, it's a bit like, a bit no, different this week, isn't it? Sims. Welcome to another video from Jake's Journey, mate. We're canoeing the River Wye from Tresic's campsite, Hawes Withy, to <laughs> Hawes Withy? Hawes Withy? <laughs> to Simmons Yacht. So far, so good. There's the boat. This looks quite cinematic, and I hope you're enjoying it so far. If you haven't been here before, this isn't the usual thing, but we're having fun and it's going well. And I've got here today with me, Girl Outdoors. Please join me, Girl Outdoors. So this is canoe that we bought a while back, and if you want to see the video to where we did get that and when I picked it up, check it up there now. I'll also leave Becky's uh, channel link down below. Like I said, we're canoeing down the River Y, and uh, it's been a trip that we've had planned for a while, hasn't it? I'm enjoying it, man. It's going well, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's really good. I've loved it. Like, Weather, weather's nice, yeah. slow pace. Nice food. Bit bushcrafty, bit chilly. All the gear. No idea. Easy. Oh, roll map, water. Oh. <laughs> oh. Gone, it's gone with the wind. Right, in a bit. Sit down, grab your brew and commence chill. Cheers. I don't know where my brew is. <laughs> Cheers. National bestseller, Into the Wild, by John Cracker. Is it Krakow? Krakow. 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 In April 1992, a young man from a well-to-do East Coast family hitchhiked to Alaska and walked into the wilderness of north of Mount McKinney. Four months later, his decomposed body was found by a party of moose hunters. Shortly after the discovery of the corpse, I was asked by the editor of Outside Magazine to report on the puzzling circumstances of the boy's death. His name turned out to be Christopher Johnson McCandless. On the Fetch's Winner Well uh, stove. Specials. Pretty gangsters, to be honest. What are we have it. <coughs> You're right. <laughs> Verbal. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. What are we having, you ask? <laughs> We're having uh, stir fry with sweet potato fries. So we're gonna use this oven thing, cook the stuff on top, thing. yeah, <laughs> and then put the chips down below. We're selling that. Yeah, it's, mid. it's well good, isn't it? Um, yeah. What would you give it out of ten? I'm giving it ten. No. Ten out. Nine. A nine. What's nine? What's not cutting it for you? I wish it was titanium. Really? Yeah. But titanium yeah. ain't the strongest, yeah. Uh, and the mat you put on top of that probably bent, wouldn't it? Yeah. True. <laughs> But it is mint, isn't it? Yeah. It is mint. Titania is a shout for what we're doing. Yeah, just because it makes it a bit more... And in the van as well, if you like doing the whole van life regime, it's worth regime. having um, It's worth having it a bit lighter, isn't it? Morning guys, just getting in and scranning on the granola. That was the setup for last night. A-frame tarp set up with uh, some canoe paddles. Got the boat in the background with all the kit underneath. Tipped over just in case of the rain. Wasn't any rain forecasted for last night, but we just wanted to make sure because there was a fair few dark clouds in the sky. But I'll just show you the setup that we had down there underneath first. So simple A-frame. It's a DD super light small tarp on the thermo rest and then just to stop the puncher on the thermo rest from the rocks we had these little mats underneath but nice night's sleep we had the sun coming through that direction this morning and then the view out this morning straight onto the water stunning
意义。We've had the、uh, we've had the rod out doing a bit of fishing. There's a reason it's called fishing and not catching. <laughs> But it's going well, man, and we're really enjoying it. We're going to get ourselves with Ross on Y, and then we're going to find ourselves somewhere to park for the night. It's only been what, like three days, but it feels like weeks. It does. It actually does. Weird. It's like slower pace of life, isn't it?、Yeah. To be fair, it's actually really clean around here. It's not like you sort of standard <laughs> riverside place near a city where everyone just destroys it because it's on a footpath as well, so people know about it.、Mm. Um, just a couple of <laughs> yeah, it's really, really clean until you look into depth and you get through into the back of the back of the sticks and you just see、um, <laughs> Johnnies and. Bag packets. <laughs> Bit of a change in pace. We'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Today we are going to be pushing out pretty early.、Uh, we've spent most of the half days in the、uh, campsites that we've spent the night before in. But today we're going to get a coffee on, push out early, get ourselves to the next spot. We need to fill up on water, and then yeah, we're going to get ourselves settled into a nice place for the day. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. There we go. We're off. We're free. Wild and free. I thought we got a puncher then. Puncher. Yeah, I thought we got a leak, but it actually wasn't. What it was was the fact that I indeed dropped the kettle this morning into the bottom of the boat. So it's now a little bit wet down here. But、um, we're going to head off now. Resupply our water, resupply our lives, and、uh, get to the next camp spot. This is where we stayed for our final evening, a stunning spot where we could fish straight from our seats. We made homemade burgers from minced beef and slammed them over the fire. We slept in bivy bags this night, under these trees the way they cast themselves over the river. We slept well with full bellies, ready for the final day. Just making our way down the river now, and there's some gorgeous like cliffs off in the distance, and it's beautiful. It just feels really wild down here, doesn't it? Yeah, it feels amazing. Proper echoey, stunning. And that's it. Moored up, trip to an end. 
done, gone with the wind, the final destination. What are you saying, Bex? Upset or what? I'm gutted. Same, man. I'd go on for another week, I reckon. Yeah, literally. I want to keep going, man. It's been a pleasure, to be fair. It's been a great trip. What we're going to do now is unpack the boat, get some bacon sarnies on, and call a cab. The cab's going to take us back to the original campsite where we can pick the van up and then I'll drive back down here. We'll load the boat up and bounce off to the next adventure. Got the uh, chef on the go there. Yeah. Looking lovely. Just going to get the boat on now, but we're all packed up inside the van. Looking groovy. If you want to look into this and figure out what's going on here, check out Operation Boxer, another series on my channel. Which is basically myself making that van, if you haven't already uh, seen. So go and check it out. One Love Gangsters, I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification if you want to know as soon as I upload another video. Peace out.